Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. I've got this shovel here that I'm going to be using for a dustpan pour and I've had this for months but been a bit nervous to try it. Uh, the dustpans that I looked at all had this funny lip which I didn't like um, and this was nice and smooth. It's not too heavy but um, I'll see how it goes when I've actually got paint in there. It might be a little bit heavy. So let's get started. Okay, so I have some sunset colors and I'm going to have a go at blending them onto the surface, just using them straight out of the paint bottle. So this is a permanent blue violet. This is my darkest color um, besides oxide black, which I'm not using in the base. I'll be using that in the dustpan or shovel in this case. Um, so I did pick up these colors from, I don't know if they're exactly the same, but from another dustpan pour. And I just thought, oh, they're so pretty. And he did, uh, I have to find out his name so I can, um, link it or post it below. But, um, he, he did this really cool blend all in one now i'm very new to blending so i'm not doing it that way um but i think what i'll do is have it sort of darker around the outside and then sort of a bit lighter but a bit more abstracty so it won't be um won't be a perfect blend um, just get an idea how much paint to put on probably should have wet the surface maybe um, I'm not sure the best way to apply the um, the dustpan or the shovel paint on, but from what I've seen after having a quick look, is that the best ones seem to work on a dry canvas. Like I could have poured paints on to my canvas, and I think um, if I'd done that, when I pour on the other paints with the um, shovel it might not look quite as good it might sort of muddy together so I want nice crisp lines I've got plenty of paint on here that's going to be predominantly purple my base just getting the paint on and then um, I'll get the big one out and we'll see how that looks This one's a little bit transparent, the orange. Right, I'm going to get the big one out and start blending it now. So I do want to see if I can get it light in the middle there. So I haven't used this one before, so let's find out. It takes quite a bit of paint off. I feel like I need to save that. Uh, pop it in here. You never know when that might come in handy. Right. Just got a old t-shirt here. I've cut up. I'm just going to wipe off my paint. Picking up the bar in the middle there. I think I have to watch that yellow with the purple, it's going to go a bit yucky. So I'm going to put a bit of orange there. I'm not sure about this one. 
I'm going to use this brush here. I'm actually going to get a bit of water as well. Let's just put a bit of water in here. Alright, so I've got a bit of water here now. And I'm just going to... I might just use a little bit of my poured paint. All right. I like that. That's pretty. Yeah. So I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes, just let it dry a bit. Okay, so that's probably just a little bit tacky now. I've got my colours here and I've got my shovel, which I've propped up here on a plastic cup. Hopefully that's not going to slip. It's probably going to slip. Let me find something else. Let's try this yogurt container might be a little bit better yeah I think that's going to be a bit more stable because if I leave it down here all the paint's just going to pour out the side there so I need it raised so that it sits in there so I'm going to go white black white black maybe white black again then the colors and then back in reverse so I've got to be careful how much I put in otherwise I'm not going to get all the colors in there Oh, I'm so nervous. All right. <laughs> this feels really strange, but um, let's have a go. So it's white. And then straight in the middle. Black. white I think I've got to be a little bit careful how much I put in white black all right now we're going to do the colors or do I want to do another white black yeah, let's go another one. All right, now let's do the colors. This feels a little thick. Okay, now I'm going to go back the other way with the colours again. Do I want a bit more of the... I'm just going to put it on this side. So the white seems to be coming across here. So let's go back and try and push it that way. I'm 
I'm not sure if I've got enough paint in here, but we're going to go black and white again after this. Let's go back to the black and white. So I definitely want more paint in here. And I'm going to need to start going a little bit smaller. I think. Oh no! <gasps> Can I fix that? I was doing so well. Can you get rid of that? Okay, it's not too bad. Bit of a save there. All right, last black and white. Okay. A lot of paint left. I was actually hoping to put more in there, but I didn't judge it very well. So I'm just trying to decide. Oh, I'm going to stick with it, but I don't think it's enough paint. So I'm going to start up here, I'm going to come down and then back across I think. Looks like I'm, it's going to roll over. Bugger. Okay, um, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> now I'm just trying to work out what to do. I do really like this through here. I rushed it. Right, I'm gonna have a think. Okay, I'm gonna move that back. Just kind of cleaned my my shovel. Now I think part of the problem. Oh, where's my stand gone? Part of the problem that I had is that I had to tip it a lot before I got to um the edge so i'm actually going to increase my angle here so that i'm closer to the edge and i'm going to do it again on the same piece i want to pour over that and then maybe crisscross a bit and i want to kind of leave that so i might have to cross through somehow i don't know it's an experiment all right, let's try that again. The other option, no, let's do it over the same canvas. I want to try and rescue it. All 
Colors. Might leave it at that. So we are closer, but I'm still gonna struggle, I think. And I'm gonna start from here. Let's see if we can. Right, we've got a lot of paint on there now. I'm gonna have to stretch it a bit. So I will bring you down for the um, wet result because you'll see that it looks like there's a lot of paint on there. I don't know if it's going to crack. Okay, here is the wet result. And um, it's very bold. I like the fact now that I've got the nice big black and white on both ends. So my only question is, if we have a look on this angle, you can see the thickness of the paint sitting on top of the canvas. Because this is on a basically dry canvas, you can really see it. Now, um, normally you can't see it because the whole canvas is wet. So I'm not sure if there's too much paint or not. Um, this pouring medium is 50% Australian Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, so um, I don't have any GAC 800 which is supposed to help uh, stop cracking, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And I definitely had enough paint in the end on the shovel. Um, it did start to uh, be hard to pour as I got towards the end to pour off but that's more of a technique thing I think uh, and there are no cracks which is great so even though it looked thick um, it was fine and that will be partly to do with the type of pouring medium that I used but also, like, you can see, I hope you can see, maybe if I turn one of the lights off, sometimes that helps see the shadowing. You can see that it's got like a lip that sort of sits on the top. And I actually like the way that looks. So, this is um, very psychedelic. It's got the uh, leopard print through the middle. Um, it's very different and it's something I could work with yeah interesting you know trying out different techniques 
um, it's it's really great for your art practice so I encourage you to all get out there and try new things and that's it for this one and I shall see you all in the next one bye